Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm back with another comic book haul to show you the books that I've been picking up for this week. And we got a little bit of books, so let's go ahead and get started. First one is a Lady Bullseye number one. This is her first appearance of Lady Bullseye. The second one is... These are really nice um, Spider-Man covers that I really enjoy. This is the Spectacular Spider-Man. This is the Gwen Stacy. I'm holding a postcard saying that she'll, uh, she'll always love him. Stuff like that. Really awesome. There's like four variants, but this one was my favorite just because it has the name. And, you know, the other ones were like blank just with the picture or, and like grade ones. And uh, this is just my favorite one. Next is another one, but this is the Amazing Spider-Man, number 802, but it's the uh, number one. This is going to be the Black Cat variant. Beautiful, beautiful art right there, Black Cat. Just chilling on his spider web, but it's a beautiful cover right there. Next, another Amazing Spider-Man. This is number 800. Variant edition. This is another picture one, but this one he's holding a Mary Jane picture when they were at the beach. I'm guessing. But the picture is her at the beach. Awesome cover. Again, there was variants, but this one to me was the best one. The other ones, I don't know, they were boring. You know, it was just plain with no word, no heading, and then there was a gray one and stuff. But this one to me was my favorite. Another one, Amazing Spider Man. 802, the same one as the black cat, but this is the, um, <clears throat> this is her, this is my favorite one, I don't know, I just like this one, it's her breaking into his house, <clears throat> excuse me about that, um, breaking into his house and, you know, texting him, but to me, I, that cover looks awesome, I love it, so these are the modern ones, now I got a couple of older ones. <clears throat> this is Marvel Spotlight on Ghost Rider. And this is the first appearance of somebody. Um, and I honestly can't remember her name, but I got it from the auction that I got these next couple of books from for like five bucks. So it's the first appearance of a certain character. I just can't remember which one. <laughs> Next, we have Daredevil, number 190. New stand edition right there. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Death of Electra. Nice, nice colors right there in the background. The guy said he graded an 8.5, but this is part of the auction. And so, you know, those $1 auctions, you know, you can't cry. Like I said, this is her death, so, you know, that's an important part right there. Now, this one that I got from the buy auction is Marvel Weirdness Bizarre Adventure. Christmas cover, little skeleton dressed up as Santa. Nice looking art right there. Now these two, I got for about $33 and I was really, I only got it for one. The other one was kind of just like a plus, but this is just, is All-Star Comics, Justice Society of America, number 69. And I looked it up and they say this is the first appearance of Earth 2 Huntress. See, you know, right there it says... Introducing the Huntress. This is Earth 2 Huntress. <clears throat> and then the next one is a book that's really rising up in price. And like I said, I got this for a steal. Uh, $33. So it cost me about $10. There was like $10.50 each plus $6 shipping. Um, unfortunately, I didn't message me back about combined shipping, which really sucks. So I would have paid a lot less. But... 
This book cost me 10 and 50. I'm taking that out of the plastic bag so I can show you. It does have a lot of damage. Uh, Marvel Spotlight number 28. First Moon Knight. And as you can see, it has a little bit of rust on the staple. Oh, that's a lot of rust on the staple. And the D right here is kind of fading out. Now, this book has a lot, a lot of um, water damage. I don't know if you can see it from right here. But um, a lot, a lot of water damage. I mean, it, it bled through a lot of the pages, some worse than others. Like, here's an example. You see that purple, pinkish, and on the next page, it might be a little bit too dark. Oh, let's see. Um, let's see. I'm trying to let me get some light up in here. Maybe you guys can see over there. What's up, Mike? Give me a second. No, that's a little bit better. Let's see. Here's another. You can see that right there. But yeah, this book bled. It bled through a lot of the pages. But I don't know if a cleaning could do anything about this one. Do anything about this? But like I said, for the price that I paid, it was a steal. I mean, I think it was a steal. I'm, def I'm definitely gonna keep a lookout for a better one, but. I mean, I just can't pass this up, especially the way this book's been rising. All that stain right there. Now, I'm no expert at comics. I haven't been in the comic game for 30 some years, 40 some years, like some of the other people in the community. And I was watching a YouTuber that I watch called, um, his YouTube name is, his YouTube channel is We Love Comics. And he did a trimming video. And I don't really buy too many books off eBay. <clears throat> well, yeah. But, you know, a lot of the books I buy are kind of back issues. This is the first kind of the big issue I bought. <clears throat> so, he did a video about trimming. And you know what? I said, I'm going to look, see, you know, I mean, I got a super deal on it. And I was like, man, I'm going to look just to make sure. And unfortunately, on these two like I said, I don't know. They told me, he, I, I messaged the guy and he told me to measure them up, me measure them. And then I haven't done it, but I'm going to do it. But to me, it does appear to be some trimming. Now, from what I heard, some people are really good at it, so you would never notice. But looking at this one, I think there might be some trimming. Let me buy the camera so I can show you. Because on the um, comment code authority right there, you can kind of see it's really really close and from what I hear there's supposed to be a little bit of a gap like you know and it's really really close and to me I think this book was trimmed you can kind of see that the back pages kind of aren't all matching up right there same thing with this one this uh, the C on the 35 cents kind of trimmed down but uh, you know he said to make sure um so I'm definitely gonna you know do that and make sure but he told me if it's trimmed that's for a refund but me for the price for this one you know it's not a big loss especially especially with the way the popularity of this book is rising and rising so I'm gonna keep it just to have a crappy copy. But I'm definitely gonna keep a lookout. Um see if there's anything I can do about getting it cleaned up. And our last book. Now this is a book that I saw and I really didn't pay too much attention to the description I just saw and I was like, you know, whatever, I'm going to get it. Uh, nobody else bid on it. I bid on it. I looked at it. I saw it. And I bid on it. And I never looked at it again until I got the notification that I won. This is from October 1962. And this is The Exciting Adventures of the Black Cat. Now, this book has a lot, a lot of damage. Um, like I said, I didn't pay attention. And I only paid... 
with shipping was ten dollars. So I was like, ah, it's whatever, you know. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it, but as you can see, there seems to be hole punches. Two hole, two hole punches, and you can see they're all the way through the book. And I think this book fell apart, and the person stapled it together because. These staples look really, they look new, you know, they look new. So I'm sure this book was completely destroyed and they tried to um, put it together. And it sucks because these, these Black Hat comics go for a little bit if you can get you a good one. And I, I didn't pay, like I said, I didn't pay attention to it. I just saw it and I was like, nobody bid on it. It was like a couple hours left. I said, I would have bet on it, and I bet on it, I went there winning, and when I really took a look at it, I saw that. Now, it doesn't seem to be any pages in this thing at all, but, you know, um, no coupons cut out or anything, well, I don't think this, this one has coupons, but... Yeah, it sucked, but it is what it is. I'm still going to keep it. I'm not going to ask for a refund. It was on my fault, on my part, for not paying attention to it. <clears throat> Plus, I think mean, this is cool. I just, you know, wish they didn't have all this extra stuff, but I'm keeping it. Nice little piece of history here, I guess. I'll definitely keep a lookout for more of these, but I'm definitely going to have to make sure on eBay, um, especially with that, since I learned about all that trimming and all that stuff, so I'm definitely going to have to keep a better lookout, ask more questions about books. You definitely want to always ask more questions before you make a purchase of eBay, especially books, comic books. You know, there's so many ways to not know if someone's made restoration to the book nowadays, unless you go and get it graded, and if you Go and get it grid and it says, you know, restored and it just it's really big disappointment when you get it back and you see that it's been restored and depending where you grade it, you get that label that says restoration. Um C so C I think it's a purple label if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think C B S C B C S and P G X give you a color label that just, it just says restored on the um under the uh next to the grade. So always keep make sure, you know. Uh, just to make sure you, it's, you know, not been had any restoration, but that's, that's the way it goes. Like I said, I'm definitely going to check up on these, make sure these haven't been trimmed. And if they are, like I said, it's, it's what it is. You learn from your mistakes. And yeah, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like what you saw, you like what I'm doing, want to stick around, then... Hey, subscribe, any comments like that, anything like that. 